Hi, I'm going to talk to you today about nonlinear and ensemble screenwriting. These I consider to be parallel narrative, and by parallel narrative I mean the kind of films that utilise multiple storylines and multiple protagonists and sometimes, but not always, time jumps. Now while we have the extraordinary situation whereby it's not possible to watch an evening's television drama without coming across some form of parallel narrative, either in the form of uh, a group of characters each with their personal adventure, for example a group of police or doctors or lawyers each having a personal adventure, or um, coming across some kind of non-linearity in the form of time jumps um, of some kind. While that's not possible, and while it's equally difficult to go to the movies these days without coming across films that um, are utilising multiple storylines or non-linearity, while that's not possible, conventional screenwriting theory really has not addressed this kind of narrative in any um, detailed way at all. In fact, um, it's very common for people to be told not to use parallel narrative, not to use time jumps of any kind, and indeed you are often deemed to be a weak writer if you do so. Now, this is crazy. We can't simply ignore the popularity of these forms. Indeed, I strongly believe that you will not have a career as a writer in 10 years time if you don't get your head around these parallel narrative forms. I don't feel that every film has to be written to the conventional one hero on a single chronological journey model. There have always been other forms including time jump forms, indeed Homer's Odyssey which is the iconic journey story of Western literature actually starts in the middle, employs flashbacks and has multiple protagonists. So, how do we approach these difficult forms? The good news is that they work to patterns and one can plan them. They take for each of their stories the conventional chronological one hero on a single journey model and they multiply it, um, often truncate it, um, often fracture it but in very specific ways and the ways in which one jumps from one story to another story is absolutely crucial in the success of these films. So that's the good news because your training in conventional linear one hero on a single journey model will help you plan your individual stories. However, where this starts to get difficult is in the interweaving, much underestimated by the few screenwriting theorists who actually um, address these uh, non-linear and ensemble forms in, in any way at all. The interweaving is absolutely crucial and it requires skills that you will not really have been taught. It requires skills of, of reducing a story to its main dramatic points, sometimes removing almost the whole second act. Um, it requires you to learn skills of, of interweaving, um, skills of combining multiple story points within the one scene, and also, crucially, it involves really a different mindset, a mindset which not only permits you to think in terms of having multiple protagonists in multiple storylines, but also presents you with the bizarre situation where a character can be a protagonist in one time frame and an antagonist in another time frame. So you really have to start to think um, of protagonist and antagonist as technical devices to manipulate point of view, rather than assuming that the most interesting character in your uh, piece is going to be the protagonist. This is a different mindset. It's extremely complex as stuff. I've written at great length about it, and I can't in the context of a YouTube video give you much in the way of advice about the complex nature of the structure and how you jump between stories. But what I can urge you to do is to take on board the idea that you're not a bad writer if you want to do this kind of form and that as I say I think you have to do it because in 10 years time you won't have any option. Producers will expect you to be able to handle flashback at speed. Not taking 10 drafts speed.
and there are patterns to this and I have actually isolated the patterns in my book, The 21st Century Screenplay.